Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer. Debbie is a four-month-old female English Bulldog, and you can see this pink object above her left lower eyelid. Dogs have a third eyelid that humans don't have, which starts from the medial canthus toward their nose and goes upward laterally over their eye. Normally we don't even see that, but there's a gland inside of there that produces tears, aptly named the gland of the third eyelid, and now it has prolapsed. It's become upside down and backwards and it's hanging out in the wind where it's not supposed to be. And Dr. Stephanie is going to replace it surgically. So Debbie has been anesthetized. We're going to hold these eyelids open. Dr. Stephanie has made an incision on the part of the third eyelid that is closest to the eye and creates a pocket for this gland to go back into. And now she's making a knot on the outside so that the suture material will not rub against the cornea of the eye. Then she passes the suture material through the third eyelid and begins to suture over the top so that that third eyelid gland will be housed in a pocket. She leaves each end open so that tears can escape and this is not a complete watertight seal on both ends. Once she's completed this, the gland of the third eyelid will be safely back in its proper anatomic location and will no longer be prolapsed. And then the final suture on the opposite end is again placed on the outside of the third eyelid. So again, the suture material will not rub or scrape against the cornea of the eye, but will be on the opposite side where it does not come in contact with the cornea. And here's Debbie post-surgery. And here she is the very next day. Here's Debbie about four weeks later. And here's Debbie four months following that surgical repair where Dr. Stephanie replaced that gland of the third eyelid, repaired the prolapse, and this is that very same day, four months after the surgery, and Debbie's doing extremely well. Problem solved. Columbus Small Animal Hospital, loving our work. I'm Dr. Jim Kramer.